it looks like we have quite a few agents in, so I'm going to go ahead and start. I would just like to extend a very warm welcome to everyone. Thank you for giving us some of your time today. We're very excited to showcase some signature experiences of Bosnia and Herzegovina. So I would just like to encourage all of our agents to drop any questions you may have in the chat and towards of the end, toward the end of this webinar, we'll be covering those questions and answers. Um, so as always, I am not alone today from USA Developing Sustainable Tourism in Bosnia and Herzegovina. We have Yusuf, who is a tourism marketing specialist, and Sumeo, who is the destination marketing project coordinator. Also from Turkish Airlines, we have Aitekin, who is our sales manager. So without further ado, Yusuf, the floor is yours. Thank you very much, Tayla, for the wonderful introduction. Uh, my name is Yusuf Yama Kosmanovic, and I'm the tourism marketing specialist at USA Developing Sustainable Tourism Project in Bosnia Herzegovina. Uh, this is a five year project funded by the United States Agency for International Development. It's part of United States support to Bosnia and Herzegovina, and we are here to uh, develop. Uh, tourism in Bosnia and Herzegovina. So it's my pleasure for to, uh, today to share with you some of the signature experiences of Bosnia and Herzegovina. All right, so all of you are uh, have completed our courses on the Bosnia and Herzegovina Online Travel Agent Academy, which is hosted on the OTT platform. So uh, most of you are already specialists for Bosnia and Herzegovina, but today we want to share with you the signature experiences of Bosnia and Herzegovina. But just for the start, uh, let us just go over briefly uh, some general information about Bosnia and Herzegovina. So it's located in the Balkan Peninsula, neighboring Croatia, Montenegro, and Serbia. It's a small country, just three and a half million in population, but a very unique country. We have three people living in Bosnia and Herzegovina. Those are Bosniaks, Croats, and, and, and uh, Serbs. But uh, something that I want to point out, which keeps coming everywhere I go all around the world, it is what is Bosnia, what is Herzegovina? So most of the, most of the people uh, confuse this being two countries like joined together and making one country. Uh, it's not that's not the case. So Bosnia is a geographical region. Herzegovina is a geographical region. So do our, those are two geographical regions, very distinct from each other. So Bosnia, it's very mountainous. It's green. Uh, it's full of castles. It used to be a kingdom, uh, and it has a continental climate. While Herzegovina has a more Mediterranean climate and it's much warmer there than Bosnia. So there is a mountain between the two regions. There is no line that you can draw, as you can see in this map, but there is a mountain that separates the two regions. And when you go to a tunnel through this mountain, uh, all of a sudden the landscape changes and uh, usually the temperature is a couple of degrees much warmer in Herzegovina. Uh, Bosnia got its name, uh, it's an old Indo-European uh, word that means water because the country is very rich in lakes and rivers. We have 262 rivers in the country. So it's uh, almost half of Europe's fresh water supply. It's in Bosnia. So Herzegovina got its name by by the most famous ruler that ruled these lands back in the Middle Ages. Uh, his name was Herzog. Uh, so it means uh, the land of Herzog. Herzog is a German word which means ruler, but also it has another meaning. It means also the land of wine because Vina in our language uh, means wine. So because Herzegovina has two indigenous wines that you can only, all, only find in this region of the country. Uh, before we start, I would like to show you a one minute video about what is Bosnia and Herzegovina.
So what are the signature experiences? The signature experiences are the experiences that you can only find in one place. So a lot of countries have these. So in Bosnia Herzegovina, we have as a project, we identified 58 signature experiences that you can only find in, in Bosnia and Herzegovina. So uh, most of them are ready for market. Some of them we are working on developing and today, we're gonna show you only six of these experiences. So we're gonna start with something that we call the moment that changed the world. It's a special tour that takes people um, to re uh, relive the assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand, which happened in Sarajevo in 1940. This event was the trigger for the first world war. Uh, the Archduke was in Sarajevo and he was assassinated uh, together with his wife Sophie and this picture that you see has been taken just minutes before the assassination. So today at the assassination place, which is in the very heart of the city, you have a museum that is dedicated to Franz Ferdinand and his wife, but also you have a special tour in an exact replica of the car that they were driving in uh, when they were assassinated that takes you through this path that he went to. Uh, uh, the second experience we wanna uh, tell you about is the Daya King on the river Verbas. So this is in the city of Banja Luka, which is the second largest city in the country. It's located in the north of the country and it sits on the beautiful river Verba, Verbas. Uh, I would describe Banja Luka as being a giant park. The city is full of green, full of, full of parks with the old castle dominating the city. Uh, what makes it unique is that only in Banja Luka, they have these special boats that they, that they make only in this place, which take you on the river Verbas, both downstream and upstream. So they have these huge poles that they push on the bedrock and it's a perfect way a perfect uh, way to experience the city so let's watch a video about it how it looks The next experience we want to tell you is the Via Dinarica experience. So what is Via Dinarica? Via Dinarica is one of the newest long distance trails in the world. It stretches all the way from Slovenia down to Albania, but its biggest part and the most beautiful part is the, is the 350 kilometer section in Bosnia and Herzegovina. Along this, uh, this, uh, this trail con uh, is is for hiking, trekking, biking, uh, skiing, camping, and all kinds of nature-based activities. You have three trails, white, green, and blue, and each having its own microclimate. So along this trail, you will, uh, you can experience and you can visit the uh, village of Lukomir, which is the highest inhabited and most isolated place in the entire country, or you can hike through the last primeval forest in Europe, which is in Bosnia, it's called Perucica, or you can cycle along uh, old Austro-Hungarian narrow gauge railway track, which was converted to an epic bike trail all the way from Mostar down to Dubrovnik in Croatia. So these are all the experiences that are part of the Via Dinarica Trail. So uh, Via Dinarica Trail was named by National Geographic and the Outside Magazine as one of the uh, uh, best uh, among, uh, it was placed among 20 best tra trails in the world. So let's see a video. Mm -hmm. 
Personally, my favorite signature experience of Bosnia and Herzegovina is the Livno Wild Horses Safari. So Livno is a city located in Herzegovina region, and on the plateau above the city, on the Mount Cruzi, uh, on the on the Cruzi plateau, you can find around 700 wild horses, Bosnian mustangs, roaming the wild. Uh, all these horses were born in the wild and uh, they are ancestor of domesticated horses. But when the industrialization uh, started, people just left these horses out in the wilderness. So uh, over time, this herd grew, grew, and it reaches now almost 700 and all of them are born free and wild. So today you have different experiences that you can uh, you can offer to your clients when it comes to wild horses. There are picnics with the wild horses. You can ride uh, uh, electric bikes with the horses or just go sightseeing with the horses. The city of Limno is also very famous for is locally produced cheese. Cheese. Uh, it's the best cheese in, in Bosnia and in Herzegovina. So all of this combined together makes a very, very unique and a great signature experience. Uh, let's see a video. experience uh, I, I want to show you is the zip lining over the royal city of Yaitse. Yaitse used to be uh, uh, the, the seat of the Bosnian kings because before the Ottomans came to Bosnia and Herzegovina. Uh, Bosnia, Herzegovina, Bo Bosnia was a kingdom with a king and his castle and the seat was located in the city of Yaitse. What makes Yaitse very very special and unique it's the only city uh, in the world which has a waterfall in the very center of the city. So today uh, there is a zip line that takes you over this waterfall and it makes a very, very uh, nice and a unique signature ex experience, especially for those looking to have some great Instagram photos. So let's take a look at the video about... <laughs> Mostar is one of the most visited cities in Bosnia and Herzegovina, thanks to its outstanding uh, natural beauty, architecture, and of course, its uh, 
famous UNESCO World Heritage Site, the, the old town of Mostar the, and the old bridge, of course. One of the key activities of life in Mostar naturally revolves around the famous bridge. The bridge the, uh, diving occurs mainly during the summer months and involves trained professionals diving from the top of the old bridge to entertain the crowds. The distance between the top bridge and the river below, it's about 27 meters. So uh, must only be undertaken by professionals or by tourists who have taken training class beforehand. The local dive club uh, will guide the tourists through uh, how to jump safely and it includes several practice runs from a 10 meter platform before the big jump. Um, if the height and agent haven't already put somebody off of this, another point to consider is that even though the average summer temperature in Mostar is a delightful 21 degrees Celsius, the river Neretva is one of the coldest rivers in the world. So its temperature in the upper part is seven degrees Celsius during the summer. And it's officially the coldest river in the world. If you uh, if if you do complete the jump, though, uh, you will become a member for life of the dive club of Mostari, and meaning you can come back and jump again for free. You will also receive a certificate, and your name will be added to the record books kept by the diving club, recording every single jumper since the bridge uh, reconstruction in 2004. So every year, also a Red Bull cliff diving competition is held in Mostar, where the best divers divers from all around the world compete, performing acrobatic jumps from the old bridge. And let me show you how that looks. This will be everything from me. Uh, uh, if you have any questions, if you have any, uh, if you would like any kind of support selling Bosnia Herzegovina, feel free to contact me. This is my mobile phone number. You can WhatsApp me, or you can just contact me by by email. I would be uh, very happy to support you. Uh, now I would like to call out my good friend Aitek in service, who is the sales manager of Turkish Airlines in United Kingdom to talk to you about the connections from UK to, to, to Bosnia and Herzegovina with Turkish Airlines and what they can do and how can you, they support you in sales to Bosnia and Herzegovina. I take in welcome. Thank you very much. Um... Hello everyone, my name is Aytekin. Uh, I'm the sales manager of London since 2018. Um, we are looking after the um, majority of the UK market. And uh, we also have other offices in uh, Manchester, Birmingham, Edinburgh, and also the um, Dublin. And um, we are currently operating from the um, three airports in uh, London, uh, Heathrow, Gatwick, and Stansett. And um, majority uh, from the um, Heathrow follows by the uh, Gatwick and the Stanset. Stanset operating by our um, trademark brand, Anadolu Jet. And um, let me give you the um, numbers uh, from the Heathrow. We are now currently operating five daily flights from London Heathrow plus uh, three weekly uh, flights. Uh, from Heathrow again. Uh, we have three narrow bodies and uh, three 
uh, wide bodies operating from the uh, London Heathrow. And also London Gatwick, we are operating to um, same airport, Istanbul, uh, two daily flights from Gatwick. And uh, also we have direct flights to Antalya, Dalaman uh, and the um, uh, Bodrum, uh, which is the um, west side of the Turkey. And uh, from Stanset, we are operating uh, two daily flights to um, Sabia Gökçen Airport, which is near the uh, Asia side in Turkey. And also we have direct flights uh, from Stanset to Antalya, uh, uh, again, daily. Uh, as we talk about the uh, connection um, to Sarajevo, we have um, under three hours connection, possibility from the um, all United Kingdom. These are the London Gatwick, Heathrow, uh, Birmingham, and the uh, Manchester. You can connect from London to uh, Sarajevo within the seven hours. You can be there in seven hours with the uh, two hours connection, which is incredible for the uh, uh, flight time, which is the seven hours. You get the flight uh, ticket from the uh, London to Sarajevo, the first flight will be happening at uh, 11 in the morning and you'll be there in 19, uh, which is 7 p.m. Turkish Airlines now uh, flying over 300 destinations around the world and uh, Sarajevo, one of the uh, important locations for the uh, Turkish market. And um, we are happy to uh, cooperate with the, any uh, kind of uh, interest uh, which we, we would like to do in a near future. And if you have any question, um, please feel free to ask me. Um, I'm happy to ask her. I have a, I have a question for you. Uh, can you tell us more about Istanbul stopover? So people traveling through Istanbul to, to, to anywhere, but particularly we are interested in Sarajevo. Project. Um, just, uh, we started to um, do that uh, project before the pandemic. It was really successful. Um, let me check one second. Um, if you have if you have connection uh, over twenty four hours, if you fly with the economy, you have one night free hotel in Istanbul. If you fly with the business class, you have two nights free hotel in Istanbul. So you have time to uh, discover all uh, historical places in Istanbul. And uh, one second, let me um, present some uh, documents. That's a stopover, and if you need more information, you can visit our uh, stopover website uh, uh, on Turkish Airlines. So stopover, it's a if you have connection between if you connection uh, if you if you have a layover twenty hours and over, and you have uh, one night on economy or two night in uh, business class. So. Um, you have to, uh, we have to register. All the information is in our website. You can um, get brief explanation. Great, if you can just copy paste in the chat later. Yes, just, just the link for the agents that can see. This is great. This, this means you can sell uh, Bosnia and Herzegovina, and on the way back, do a stopover in 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 Istanbul. Yes, uh, yeah, this 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 the it's a perfect combination. People visiting both Bosnia and Herzegovina in Istanbul, and what is great, you can provide, you can get this free of charge one night in economy and two nights 
in business. This is great information from Turkish Airlines and uh, for, for the agents. Thank you very much, Aitken. You're welcome. Uh, now I would like to ask my colleague Sumeya. Now we're gonna draw uh, two lucky winners who are gonna get a fam trip with Turkish Airlines to Bosnia and Herzegovina. So Sumeya, can you please share your scheme, screen? We're gonna we're gonna have a wheel with the names of all the people who graduated from the Online Travel Agent Academy and who are today with us. So Sumeya, spin the wheel, please. So the best part of the webinar is to see who won. Our first lucky winner is Karen with, with Hey. We would just like to ask you to send us your email privately. And the second winner is... Richard Ambler Young. I would, I would kindly ask you guys to send us your emails so we can stay in contact for the for further elaboration and the enter. Uh, while I'm still here on the screen, I would also like to share some questions that our participants had for you, Yusuf. So the first question was, what is the best time to travel to Bosnia and Herzegovina? Uh Best time to travel to Bosnia and Herzegovina, it really, can you just mute? Oh, I'm sorry. We are in the same room, so I get the echo. So uh, the best time to travel to Bosnia and Herzegovina, we have two, we have the summer season and we have the winter season. So the summer season starts from April all the way and to the end of October, but the winter season starts from November all the way to March, but it really depends what you're looking for because uh, if you're if you're looking for outdoor activities that are usually done during the summer, so you will focus on on May until end of end, end of uh, October. But we also have products uh, which are winter related because Bosnia and Herzegovina, and many of you don't know this, is a winter destination as well. We had in 1984 we had the Olympic. Uh, uh, Winter Olympic Games in Bosnia and Herzegovina. So our capital is surrounded by four Olympic mountains with ski centers. And uh, what what's what's the advantage of Sarajevo and Bosnia and Herzegovina that nobody else has in the entire Europe is that when you land to, on the airport, just in half an hour drive from the airport, you are at the Olympic Ski Center. And we have two Olympic Ski Centers around Sarajevo, both of them located uh, just half an hour from the city. So you, while you can stay on the mountain, in the mountain, uh, uh, in the Olympic Ski Center, in the mountain hotels, you can also stay in the city and uh, take shuttles every day for skiing in the Olympic Center. So uh, it really depends. So we are a year round destination. I wouldn't call it like the best time. It really depends what you, what you're looking for, what you, what you are selling. Amazing. One more question divided into two questions is, what is a good location for families with children? And what, uh, what's the situation when it comes to wheelchair access? Uh, we have, we have a law. We, we have a law that requires everybody, uh, especially the new, new, new infrastructure investments to have uh, wheelchair accessible uh, access for, for, for wheelchair almost everywhere. So I cannot give you a general answer, but generally, yes, we do have, we do have uh, everywhere available uh, availability for people in wheelchairs. So for families, uh, the best place, uh, it's a very, again, very difficult, very difficult questions. Uh, one of our biggest market actually is, 
is families and most uh, mostly from Middle East, let's say from United Arab Emirates, uh, that market comes with large families. So we have a lot of products which are uh, made uh, purposely for as a family, family friendly uh, tourism products. Uh, if it comes to just uh, if we, uh, I just mentioned the uh, the mountains around Sarajevo, uh, one of the largest complexes is uh, a big uh, uh, a nice park with activities for children on top of the mountain, which you can reach by cable car from the center of uh, Sarajevo. Just eight minute ride with a cable car on top of the mountain, and you can be there in this beautiful park with with a lot of. Uh, activities for kids let's say amazing thank you so much everyone that was an amazing webinar from relaxation to adrenaline rushes it was amazing really taken back and what a beautiful destination so once again thank you for the beautiful presentations and thank you to our agents for joining today and congratulations to our new winners i'm sure you'll be reached out to shortly um, and i hope everyone has an amazing tuesday further until the next webinar Bye, everyone. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you, everyone. Bye.